CBS television takes pride in presenting Heckle and Jekyll, Dinky Duck, Gandy Goose, Sourpuss, Little Ropeford, appearing tonight in person on CBS Cartoon Theater. <laughs> My friends have just indicated I'm Dick Van Dyke. Good evening. We'd all like to welcome you to CBS Cartoon Theater. The stars of our show, whom you no doubt have recognized, are Heckle and Jekyll, Dicky Duck, Sour Puss, Gandy Goose, and Little Ropert. Each week, our stars, whom I'm very happy to call my friends, will appear. Hey, boss! Hey, boss! Yes? You've got snacks on your sleeve. There's nothing on my sleeve. Oh, yes. You've got snacks on your sleeve. I have. What's next? The show. The show's next. <laughs> well, we'll begin cartoon theater in a moment. But right now, I'd like to remind all of you horse lovers that CBS television has a whole stable full of wonderful horses that are always getting involved in exciting adventures. In one stall, of course, there's a horse called Silver. And he comes galloping out every Saturday to carry the Lone Ranger on another one of his dangerous missions. And then there's a rather special stall that hooks right onto the back of an automobile. And that stall belongs to Star, the pride and joy of Jace Pearson of the Texas Rangers. And Saturday's the day when Jace and his sidekick, Clay Morgan, turn up here. And you can go along, too, if you're here watching their Tales of the Texas Rangers. And then there's another stall, especially for a beautiful sorrel filly, who belongs to an 11-year-old boy named Ken. Her name is Flicka. And she'll be right here again in only 48 hours from now on most of these stations. And now the first act of Cartoon Theater starring Heckle and Jekyll in Flying South. Kill the house lights. <laughs> Summer, it's fly north. Every winter, it's fly south. I'm staying right here. Look, there's Grandma's house. I wonder if it's Red Riding Hood's grandma. I say, let's pose as a couple of orphans, and maybe the old girl will adopt us. Anyway, you shouldn't believe those fairy tales. You know, he isn't such a bad fellow. Of course not. And to prove it, I would like to have you for dinner. By the way, uh, what are we having for dinner? Magpie stew. That sounds delicious. I can just smell it cooking. We're magpies. Uh-oh.
chum. That was a smart trick you pulled. But if someone told you what I was gonna do, you wouldn't believe it possible. This is the end. Here, take my watch. I won't be needing it where I'm going. Say, that was real nice of him. Now that we've lost our feathers, we might as well go south for the winter. Quite so. Quite so. See this egg? An egg like this plays an important part in Dinky Duck's first adventure on Cartoon Theater. Welcome, little stranger.
our third act stars Gandy Goose, who is quite a musician and a dancer as well. Be careful, Gandy. Watch out! What a crazy place to put scenery! Here's Gandy Goose in wide open spaces. He needs them. House lights! Sheriff wanted permanent job, short hours. Oh boy, that's for me. Give me a bottle of mule kick. Catch up on my head.
let me have a double chocolate sundae with whipped cream and a cherry. Yes, sir. Right here, sir. <laughs> I wonder how Gandhi gets into positions like that on a horse. See now. Very good. Very good, Mr. Van Dyke. Well, thank you very much, Roquefort. That position you got into was pretty funny. I was trying to do it just like Gandhi. Was this it? if I get into exactly the same position or not. Was this it? Just a little bit more. This it? That's it. <laughs> Kill the Well, if it isn't my little pal, my dear little friend, my dear little friend. Hey, take it easy, will you? Don't eat me. Don't eat me. Eat you? Oh, I wouldn't eat you. You're my pal, my very best pal. Oh, make yourself right at home, right at home, and I'll get you something to eat. La, 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 I don't la, understand la, 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 la. it. There's something screwy about this. And now for some dessert. Oh, excuse me, excuse me, I'll be right back. Why, this is what I call living. Where am I? What happened? Did you hurt yourself, pal? Pal? You're no pal of mine. You're a mouse. And I hate mice. <laughs> Will you cut it out? Oh, my dear little 
friend. Where have you been? Where have you been? Let's dance, you and I. Cheek to cheek. What do you say? Let's dance. I don't get it. He's crazy. Grand Peachy Swell, how nice of you. He should have come down about here. That was little Roquefort in Cat Happy. You know, I've been thinking about a few things I hope you'll remember next time you ride your bikes. I thought I'd like to talk to you about them. Cycling's a lot of fun, but it's a serious business, too. When you're out on the roads, you are part of the traffic, just like cars and trucks. So you have to be just as grown up as the people who drive them. When Dad drives the family car, he doesn't race and cut in out of traffic and run through red lights, and you shouldn't. When you're out on your bike, I hope you always wait for the traffic lights to turn green. I hope you always stop at stop signs and look both ways before you cross. And especially, I hope you always keep to the side of the road and don't weave in and out of traffic. And don't go the wrong way on one-way streets. Even if you're just riding around the neighborhood, remember that the streets aren't playgrounds. In fact, they can be dangerous places sometimes. So ride safely, won't you? And have a good time. A good, safe time. We hope you've enjoyed our program tonight and that you'll be with us again next week. And now, this is Dick Van Dyke on behalf of Heckle and Jekyll, Gandy Goose, Sour Puss, Dinky Duck, and Little Roquefort, the stars of CBS Cartoon Theater, saying good night. All right, wrap it up. Cartoon Theater is a film presentation.